Hi, I'm Lynn Ulbricht. I'm the mother of Ross Ulbricht, who was recently sentenced because of his involvement in the Silk Road. I'm here at Porkfest 2015 to network and just enjoy the company of liberty-loving people. It's a fantastic event. I, first of all, screened the Deep Web documentary, which is not just about Ross, and it's not an advocacy piece for Ross or anything like that, but it features Ross very heavily and the trial. And I think it really gives an insight into who Ross really is. There's, there's video and, and um, just things that you get a sense of Ross. And, and he's such a sweet, nice person, you know, and he's been portrayed in much of the media as something totally the opposite of that. It's called the Silk Road, Silk Road. a billion dollar online marketplace by the elusive ringleader known, known as, as the Dread Pirate Roberts. Who is the Dread Pirate Roberts? It was a full house, I think. It was really good. And then we had a Q&A um, with me and Julia Turiansky following it. In our lives, Cody Wilson said he wasn't a hero and, or might not be a hero. And I, I disagree. He's a hero to me. And, and you're a hero. And just thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's great. I'll tell Ross. I think um, reading about the case and uh, re-emphasized with the film that Ross was one of us. He's someone who shares our, our fundamental values. This wasn't someone who was, you know, uh, shallowly involved in the liberty movement. He seemed to really care about it. He had read about it. He knew what he was doing. He explained why he was doing what he was doing. Even not knowing Ross, uh, that's enough for me to be inclined to believe him as opposed to this federal government, which systematically has lied, even in a way that's so brazen that their own media has been inclined to cover it and say, wow, these people are just serious liars. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. I just want you to know that, and, and you have my full support. Thank you. The next day I did a talk. I'm very pleased to say I got a standing ovation. It was really great to get that support. My son Ross has been in the spotlight uh, quite a bit the last year and a half. So today I want to redirect that spotlight to another major player in this case, namely the United States federal government, and show you why I believe that they and how they operate is far more dangerous and a larger threat to our liberty than any one man or website could ever be. Ross was recently sentenced to life with double life without parole, plus a few other things. Basically for nothing he actually did himself. It was for running the Silk Road website where other people did those things. The charges are this, include, and they're all nonviolent by the way, nothing that harmed anyone's life or property. Trafficking uh, uh, controlled substances on the internet, a continuing criminal enterprise, basically the kingpin charge, which is unprecedented to be applied to someone like Ross. I mentioned in my talk, did not actually specify the things that that statute requires. Engagement in a continuing criminal enterprise, or the kingpin charge, life without parole. Just in case he lives a really, really long time, I guess. Um, now, this charge requires that the defendant committed a series of federal narcotics offenses with five or more people who he organized, managed, or supervised. And yet, evidence never established that were, there were five people, distinct people, involved as subordinates, they were never named. So this judge sentenced him to life with a statute that wasn't satisfied then there was the conspiracy to launder money, trafficking, false IDs, and also hacking, the conspiracy to hack or aid in bet hacking, because some people sold software on the site that might be used for hacking. They did not allege that any of those things were things Ross actually did himself. The paperwork for the appeal has been filed, and the lawyers will be working on that very, you know, intently, and we're told that probably by next March or so, the appellate court will hear the case, and what, it, what happens is that they're not looking at the facts of the case so much as whether the, the law was followed in investigating and trying the case. 
There were two undercover investigators in uh, DHS Baltimore, Maryland, were using their access to Silk Road to steal almost a million dollars. They had high-level administrative access to the site, so they could change passwords, reset PIN numbers, take over accounts, including DPRs. They could change private messages, posts, keys. They had access to bank accounts. I mean, they had the keys to the kingdom. Trial was crushingly expensive. We we're heavily in debt, and um, the appeal continues to cost a lot of money. So we really can't do this alone. We cannot appeal this and push back the precedents that were set in this trial alone. I sincerely believe that we're at a crossroads in history. We've left the 20th century, and we're moving, careening into the digital age. We're moving at lightning speed, and what happens now, the laws and precedents that are put in place now are going to impact us all. Ross is at the tip of the spear right now, but we're not far behind. And we need to make sure that our freedoms are protected. Please go to freeross.org and help us. Give what you can, do what you can. We need your help. Thank you.